Greetings and salutations. Hello everyone and welcome back to our grammar lesson part two. Today we'll be looking into state of verbs. In today's lesson, we are going to accomplish hopefully three main objectives. First, you will sort or classify sentences into categories that they determine through short video. Second, identify state of verbs in the present simple with reference to an article on your student book page 14 and finally compare and contrast state of verbs and verbs in the present progressive on your student book page 16. All right in this activity we will sort sentences into categories that they determine means you are going to identify either the are states or actions. Let's read the examples together. I realize it's a difficult situation. She's talking on the phone. That's mine. It belongs to me. This apple tastes bad. What are you cooking? He loves his family. They mean the world to him. I'm not sure about the trip. It depends on the weather. I hope you start recognizing the difference between a state and actions through these examples. And to check your answers, we are going to watch a video related to this task. Hello everyone, welcome back to our second grammar session. In our previous lesson, we studied the uses of the present simple and progressive and how states can't be expressed in the progressive tense. So in our lesson today, we will learn how to differentiate between states and actions. I realize it's a difficult situation. The verb realize means to understand, which is not an action. It's a state. She is talking on the phone. The verb talking here refers to an action because she is really doing an action. That's mine. It belongs to me. The verb belong here refer to possessions, which is a state. This apple tastes fat. Taste here is a verb that refer to a certain taste or flavor. The verb here is a state because we are talking about the state of the apple. What are you cooking? We are asking here about the action he is doing. So the verb to cook here is an action book. He loves his family. They mean the world to him. The verbs love and mean are just states here. They are not actions. I'm not sure about tomorrow's trip. It depends on the weather. The verb depend here express uncertainty that you are not sure. So it's not an action, it's just a state. Remember, action verbs describe actions that we take or things that happen. State of verbs refer to the way things are, how they seem, they appear, they smell or taste. Thank you for watching. Let's go ahead with the lesson. Okay, I hope the video was clear and could help you identify states and actions. Now, please focus on the highlighted words. This is the answer key. I realize, which means I understand, refer to state. Talking, to talk, refers to an action. To belong, refers to a state. To taste, a state. To cook, is an action. To love or to mean something is a state. To depend on something is a state. Now let's refer to your student's book, page 16. We are doing the activity number A. Read the examples from the text on page 14. Notice the verbs in blue, which tense is used and why. Let's read the examples. Becoming an apprentice means you work for a company. C. 
see how it looks and feels in real life. Many employers want young, enthusiastic people. The verbs are means, looks, feels. Notice here that the verbs are with us and want in the base form because many employers, the subject is plural. So the tense, yes, is the present simple. The present simple is used in all tenses because all the verbs used like mean, look, feel, and want are stative verbs. They express a state. They are not usually used in progressive tenses. So if you are going to use an action verb like go, like walk, you can use the progressive tenses, which is the verb to be plus ing. However, if you use a state of verb such these ones, you cannot use the progressive. Now, next question. Now, underline at least three more examples of this type of the verb in the text on page 14. Here is the text on page 14 on your student book, which is an interview between the interviewer and Richard. Now, let's check the underlined examples that include state of verbs. An apprenticeship doesn't mean you work full time, the verb to mean. Of course, this depends on the job you're training, to depend. And see how it looks and feels in real life, how it appears or seem. We have experienced stuff. So the verb have, that means possession, for example, when you say I have a car, is a state of verb and cannot be, of course, in the progressive. So all these verbs should take the present simple. Okay, now again, let's go to page 16. Read the examples and note below and answer the questions. Ella thinks her flat is too expensive. She's thinking of finding a new one. So the first question, does the verb think have the same meaning in both sentences? Let's check again. She thinks that the flat is too expensive. This is her opinion in her view. So the verb to think here refers to opinion. She's thinking of finding a new one. She's thinking of doing something. This is about something going through her mind and it's not an opinion. So the answer is no, it doesn't have the same meaning. Very good. Now, question number two. In which sentence does the verb think express a state and in which does it express an action? A state suggest an opinion. Ella thinks her flat is too expensive. That's a state. She's thinking of finding a new one. She's making an effort. Okay, she's planning. This is an action. Great. So the state of verbs such as see, like, remember, believe are not normally used in progressive tenses because they express a state. However, certain state of verbs can be used in progressive tenses. Like here, she's thinking, it doesn't have the same meaning as opinion, to express actions rather than states, but with a difference in meaning. Let's recapitulate. Please refer to the grammar reference page 87 on your student book and don't forget to use your highlighters. Look here. Certain verb or state of verbs can be used in progressive tenses. It means that you can say, I'm thinking, I'm having. But there is a rule for this. When they express actions rather than states, with a difference in meaning. Think, the verb think here, when it means consider, I have something in my mind or I'm planning to do it, you can put it in the progressive. It's not an opinion. Be careful. The verb to see, 
okay it's not like i see your point i see your point means i understand so you cannot put it in the progressive but i see here means to meet or to visit it's possible like she's seeing her sister tonight like she's meeting or she's visiting have when it means drink eat or taste the children are still having a breakfast means are still eating and this is an action taste when you try the food so i'm just tasting the food to see if it's ready this is you are trying something you are trying the food so it's an action to feel when it means touch john is feeling the packet to find out what's inside he's touching it's not he's feeling happy here okay he's feeling the packet Okay, now let's consolidate our understanding through this activity, activity number C, page 16. Read the sentences and circle the correct option. Where is Chef Henry? Inside, he tastes or he's tasting the soup to make. So in this context, to taste here means to try. So he's doing an action. So the answer is very good, he's tasting. To make sure that it tastes or is tasting just right. Now, when we talk about the flavor of something, it's a state of verb. Never ever put it in the present progressive. So the answer is the present simple, it tastes. Number two, Tom and I see or are seeing Bob on Saturday. Now let's focus on see here. The meaning means we are visiting Bob on Saturday. So it's an action verb. And we put the progressive because it's an action verb for arrangements also on Saturday. Do you think or are you thinking we should buy him a gift? We are asking about opinion here. And in the opinion verbs, we use the present simple. Do you think Kevin loves or is loving his new job as an environmental photographer? He prefers or he is preferring working outdoors to an office job. So Kevin loves his feelings, so loves and prefers, it's about preferences. Next one, I think or I'm thinking of finding a new job. This is my plan. It's an action verb about things going around in my mind. So I'm thinking, it's not a state, it's not an opinion, because I want or I'm wanting. In fact, it's weird to say I'm wanting. We never ever say I'm wanting. So I want more money. Number five, what do you mean or are you meaning? Have you ever heard someone saying what are you meaning? No way. So what do you mean? It's a state of verb used in the present simple. What do you mean you lost the car keys? We have or we are having spaghetti. Wow, spaghetti, that's food. So we are eating right now. It's an action verb. We are having spaghetti for dinner tonight are you minding or do you mind i'm asking here it's a polite request so we always say for polite request do you mind turning off the computer before you leave the office jane appears or is appearing to be tired i'm talking about the state of jane here and not her action so she seems or appears she needs or is needing a break to need it's about her feeling so it's a state of verb. Okay, this is all for today. If you are still thinking about the differences between state of and non-state of verbs, can you come up with your own examples of state of verbs using the present progressive with a change in meaning? Give it a try if you think it's worthwhile for accurate speaking. Thank you for watching.